Hey guys, Mr. Burns here. I'm going to bring you a uh, surface area problem. And uh, these are always tricky. So we got a uh, important thing to do with these is take our time, label, 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 and of course, um, try and be as neat as possible. All right, so we have a cylinder here. And I think you can pretty much uh, bet on it 100% when you get this on your final exam. There's going to be a cylinder there. Now the shape that it's attached to, whether it's a triangular prism, a rectangular prism, I'm betting on triangular prism just because it's a little trickier, but yet to be seen. Alrighty, so um, this is a pretty confusing diagram here, but let's try and make our way through it. So we got a, a, a cylinder here of radius 2, well actually diameter 2, so my radius is 1. So recognize that's a diameter all the way across the circle. My height of the cylinder is 8. And recognize that you got some overlap here. And that overlap is just basically equivalent to the two circles that are found when you find the surface area of the cylinder. So again, you can use the Carly method and forget about any overlap and just find the surface area by doing that. So um, why don't we first start by fi finding the triangular prism. So um, here we go. Let's go try. Pry. My tri pry, my triangular prism. So, um, triangular prism has two triangles, so the area of my triangles, so the triangles, so the area of a triangle is uh, one half a base times the height, so we, we have two, so it's two times one half the base times the height, which you guys figured out really if for two triangles, it's just base times the height. So the base is 4. This is the base of my triangle. The height is 3. So it's going to be 4 times 3. And that's going to be 12 centimeters squared. Make sure you have your units in there, centimeters squared. So that's the area of my triangles. Now I have a couple things going on here. I've got this bottom side here. So I'll call that the bottom of my triangle the prism. Okay. So that bottom is just a basically just a rectangle, so it's a length times width, so it's four times one. That's going to give you four centimeters squared. And then you got this side right here that's in right here, so it's three by this one centimeter. So I'm going to call that my side, and that's going to be three times one centimeter, which is three centimeter squared and we also have this slant height here what I call it is sort of like your hypotenuse of your triangle right here this part right here should have been like that okay so that part and then again that's one by this whole length up here five so I'll call that slant that's five by one which is five centimeter squared Okay, so we do the total, so that's going to be um, uh, 24 centimeters squared. So the total for my, for my triangular prism is 24 centimeters squared. Now, we got to find that cylinder. So um, I'm going to use the Carly method just because I think it's more practical. I recognize, guys, look, that the overlap here is two circles. There's the bottom of the cylinder, which is one circle, and then there's the imprint that it leaves on the triangle. Okay? Like if we had this triangle, the top part of it showing, the surface area, if we look straight down, with the cylinders on it like that, so the surface area is going to subtract this one circle. Okay? So all I had to do now for my cylinder is write out my curved surface. So my curved surface and my curved surface is 2 pi r h so 2 times pi times the radius which we called 1 times the height which was 8 so that's going to be 16 times pi so 16 times 3.14 I know it has a pi button but on CRT, it's probably going to ask you to use 3.14 for pi, and that's going to give me um, 
50.24 centimeters squared. Now, if you didn't use the overlap, you would have to find the area of the two circles, but then you'd have to subtract them back out anyway. So that's why it's kind of pointless to find the overlap for this particular question. Um, but again, it's, it's an accepted method. You can go ahead and do it. So my total area is equal to 24 centimeters squared plus 50.24 centimeters squared. So that's 74.24 centimeters squared. Okay. 74.24 centimeters squared is my total surface area. Okay, guys, I hope that problem helped. You guys have a, a, a gazillion of these in your in your book. And actually, I'll show you right now. Okay, um, if you go to the book here. Oh, phone is ringing. Just one second, guys. My phone is ringing. Oh, it's no one important. You guys are more important than my phone. So if we go to unit one, call it 50. That's unit two. Actually, let's zoom out here a little bit. See, so you got lots of problems here. This is the practice test. Go through the unit practice tests. Um, each unit will be a good idea. And there's the unit review. Look, there's all kinds of problems here with cylinders, rectangular pyramids, um, all kinds of things. Okay, so go through those problems and give them a shot. And hopefully they work out for you. I really hope they do. Um, good luck, guys, and I'll see you soon.